Hello boys and girls, this is our video for vocabulary this week. Let's look at some of our words. This is the first one. Listen to it. Cultures. My family celebrates holidays from the Chinese and German cultures. Can you say cultures with the computer? Ready? Cultures. Nice job. Let's watch this little video telling what a culture is. Cultures. A culture includes the language, holidays, and special foods shared by a group of people. So different groups of people might celebrate different holidays. They might enjoy different types of foods, and they may even speak different languages. And so that's what cultures are. For example, not everyone celebrates Thanksgiving, and not everyone celebrates Christmas. Different people may celebrate different things, or they may celebrate something similar, but do it in a little bit different way, and it would have a different meaning to them. An example is, my family celebrates holidays from the Chinese and German cultures. What special food or holiday from a culture can you name? Think of a special food from Thanksgiving that we just had. That's a holiday that a lot of people in this country may celebrate. What are some special foods that we have for Thanksgiving? We have turkey. Sometimes we have pumpkin pie. Some places they eat green bean casserole. That's a common thing. It just kind of depends on what your family likes and what some of the favorite foods of your family are. So how do the girls in this picture honor their culture? Well, to begin with, they are dressed in some of the traditional clothes. For example, this little girl right here is dressed in traditional Chinese um, outfits and Chinese clothing. And this girl right here is dressed in some traditional German clothing. So that's one way that people celebrate their culture. Let's look at the next word. Proud. Josh is proud that he read the book all by himself. Can you say proud with the computer? Ready? Proud. Good job. Let's look at what proud means. Proud. When you are proud, you feel good about yourself or something you have done. So if being proud means feeling good about something you've done or about yourself. So Josh here in the picture is proud because he was able to read the book all by himself. What are some things that make you feel proud? Maybe if you're able to ride your bike. Maybe now or when you get a little bit older, you will learn to ride your bike without training wheels. And that will be a really proud moment. Maybe you feel proud when you can write your name all by yourself. Look at the picture of the boy who just finished reading the book by himself. How do you know that he's proud? He's setting up nice and straight, and look at that smile on his face. He looks really happy that he was able to do it himself, doesn't he? You can tell he's proud of what he just did. Let's look at the next word. Tradition. It is a tradition to go sledding on New Year's Day. So look at the picture. A tradition is a belief or habit that you repeated in a family. So if you do something one time, it is not a tradition. A tradition is something that you do over and over again, maybe around the same time of year. Some people um, 
the old tradition is to go to the Dairy Queen at the, on the last day of school each year. Some people have a special tradition that they do if their child gets good grades on a, on a report card. Um, some people have a tradition that they do in the winter time, like going sled riding. Sometimes it may even be something that you do on a certain day of the week. Maybe every Friday night is game night for your family and you sit down and play games together. That would be a tradition because that's something you do over and over and it's repeated and it's a habit of yours. The example in this picture right here is it is a tradition for this family to go sledding on New Year's Day. Every year on New Year's Day they go sledding. And so the children know when New Year's Day comes they're going to be going sledding because it's something they do over and over and they repeat every year. There may be traditions associated with Christmas or other holidays. For example, it was a tradition at my house growing up that all of my aunts and uncles came to my house on Christmas Eve and we opened most of our presents on Christmas Eve. But we didn't open a lot of them on Christmas Day. Now the special ones that Santa might have brought or something like that we opened on Christmas Day. But all of the others that came from my aunts or uncles or that my mom got me, those we were able to open together on Christmas Eve. What are some traditions that you guys have at your house? Let's look at the next word. Appreciate. I appreciate that you eat lunch with me. Can you say appreciate with the computer? Ready? Appreciate. Let's see what appreciate means. Appreciate. When you appreciate something, you respect or value it. So when you appreciate something, you value it. It's important to you. You like it. You respect it. I... For an example is, the girl here in the picture is hugging her friend and she says, I appreciate that you eat lunch with me. And so she is grateful and happy that her friend ate lunch with her. What do you appreciate in your neighborhood and why? One of the things that I appreciate in mine is I have a neighbor down the road who lets me pick pear tree, pears off of her pear tree every year so that I can make different things with them. And that's not something that she has to do. That's just something she lets me do because she's a good neighbor. And so that's an example of something I appreciate. The children in the picture are appreciating how nice it is to be able to eat lunch with a friend. And it looks to me like they're pretty good friends. I can see that they're happy and that they're hugging one another. Our next word is... Prefer. Some children prefer math to science. Can you say prefer with the computer? Ready? Prefer. So when you prefer something, you like it more than something else. Maybe you prefer one food over another one. Some children prefer math over science. That means they like math class better than they do science. And they like math activities more than science activities. Do you prefer singing or dancing? Which do you like the best and why? Let's look at this picture. This child is the one that prefers doing math over any other subjects and he likes it more than any other subject. Since he likes it, 
I'll bet he's really good at it because he puts in a lot of work in it because it's something that he enjoys doing. This is the end of our vocabulary for this week, boys and girls. Thank you for listening.